Welcome to the new series. We're here on Hillaby Creek. I'm standing in front of my house. This is the neighborhood that we live in. Uh, so, we've decided that I'm sick of the 9 to 5 lifestyle. I wanted to quit that and I want to pursue my dream of owning a logging company. So in order to do that, I took out a $200,000 loan for the next 30 years, and I bought the pasture and woodlot that are next to my house. They were up for sale, and I think we can make some money on them. So I used a loan to buy this land that you can see here in front of us, and came with a tractor, we have a mower, little forage wagon, over here in this shelter also have a little logging trailer and of course parked over there by the street i have my trusty pickup so i think the first way we're going to earn some money back off of this land is to mow this grass field and then maybe we'll do a little logging see what we can do the loan payments are $906 a month. Uh, I have $500 left in my bank account after getting myself set up. So let's jump on the tractor. We'll mow this grass and see if we can make any money off of this land that I bought. We've got just some basic small equipment right now. So eventually we'll have to upgrade. And if you look off in the distance there see those hills over there they're across the river but there's good logging land up there I think if we follow this street down I think we can ford the river there buy ourselves a cheap piece of land start logging it and build our logging empire but the journey of a thousand miles begins with the first step right so Let's get to mowing.
Okay. Well, that is the grass all mowed. Looks good. I think we're going to get a lot, a lot of product here. Well, let me go ahead and put away the mower. And we'll grab our forage wagon. If we can't get our first wagon full. I already have a buyer for the grass. Uh, I was on the phone with the local livestock dealer. They said they'd buy the grass from us. But they also said that they prefer to buy hay that are just straight grass. And so hopefully we can save up and uh, buy a tether, turn this grass into hay, and make even more money. But we'll see. Okay, so that's our first wagon full. I don't particularly want to drive the tractor on our lawn. If I drop this right here, move the tractor over to the side, and then we can go get our pickup. Let's get this over to that livestock dealer. Oh, wait for traffic. Get this over to the livestock dealer and we'll see what they uh, what they offer us for this. And I'm hoping just one or two wagon foals that we'll be able to uh, afford to buy ourselves a tether. But we'll see. Larson's Livestock Auction. Good to dump it right in this crate here. Let's see, we have 500 to start with. What are we going to get? Our monthly mortgage payment is $906. Yes, we certainly... That should certainly be enough. We made... $1,928 off of that load. Excellent. That's excellent. Oh, everybody's out walking downtown today. Traffic is never ending for being such a small town. Okay. Pull over in this lot. See if we can get ourselves a tether. What does the store have for us? 1300 dollars Oh, that'll be perfect. 
let's buy that. Maybe eventually we can buy ourselves a, uh, a windrower as well. I had my eye on one. This one here, we need an extra 5,000 for that one. So, head back to the farm. And I will, I'll meet you back at the farm. Once I bring the wagon back, I'll go get the, um, the tatter. Bring that to the farm and then I'll meet you there. Okay, just getting back to the farm with our new tether. Bring this over to the field. Now we can make some hay. It was a pretty good payday for the grass. So I'm hoping the hay will be even more substantial. I'll park this just outside the gate for now. That should be fine. Okay. Back to the tractor we go. This tractor should have power. Power enough to uh, use the tether for no problem. Thinking. We'll find out here in a second, won't we? All right, let's see what happens. Oh, look at that. We're making hay. All right. I'll go ahead and get this all turned into hay. Then we'll have to pick it back up. If you're unfamiliar with the way this works, basically those rakes in the back are fluffing up the grass that we've already cut. Uh, kind of picking it up and turning it over and aerating it a bit, little bit so that it can dry. Get a lot of that moisture out of the grass. That's basically all hay is. Just dried grass or clover or alfalfa whatever you're making hay from grass for us here and you know when I bought this piece of equipment I didn't really think ahead to where I might store it so I guess it's gonna have to sit out in the elements I'd prefer to have it under cover because well, it has some moving parts on it. And the more rain and stuff you can keep off your equipment, the better, I think. But it can live outside, I guess. None of our stuff is particularly well covered, which we'll have to remedy eventually. Maybe get an enclosed shed that we can at least keep our tractor in. Even if the other stuff sits out in the elements, I prefer to have the tractor indoors. Probably not entirely necessary, but you know. You go outside, uh, get on the tractor, and find that there's a pool of water in your seat from three days ago when it rained. Not always the funnest day. Well, we're almost done with this. We'll get our forage wagon together. We might have to look, see what the cheapest, what the cheapest and best option for a windrower will be. 
because this just spread the grass out even more. I'm doing it with just that forage harvester is going to take, or that forage wagon that we have is going to take forever because the pickup on it's so small. If we could windrow it into lines, it would make our lives a lot easier today and in the future when we do this because we will be able to uh, do this multiple times a year. That's the best thing about having a field that's just grass. You can harvest it constantly. Not quite as much as you need to mow your lawn, but still a few times a year. But I guess this is just going to live over here in our wood lot. Which extends quite a ways. Uh, most of those trees that you see around the house here are ours. We'll take a quick walk and I'll show you. Let me just park this. We'll put you, I don't know, over here in this open spot, I guess. That'll work for now. Unhook it. Let's take a walk and look at our wood lot. So I noticed that the previous owner had uh, banded the trees on the property line. Which is quite nice of them. Makes it easy for us. We actually have way out over here. And then it kind of comes to a point. Over here by everybody else's house. I wonder... I wonder if we could uh, do a little developing. Cut out some of these trees. Parcel off some of these lots and build some houses. Maybe not. Maybe we could use this woodlot as our first uh, forestry area. Or maybe we just leave it wild because it's right next to our own house. And, you know, it's nice when you have the, the game, you know, uh, deer and squirrels and all that right up next to the house and it's peaceful. I don't really want more neighbors. But we're going all the way out to here. And then this woodlot comes down. Back here, there's a creek. You know, right up to the edge of the creek. I think the creek's pretty, pretty grown over. Gone wild. Nobody's really taken much care of it lately. Which I don't know if we own into the creek or just this edge. We'll have to get a surveyor out here to find out. If we own this side, we might clean this up a bit, let the water flow through, make sure it doesn't flood in spring, that sort of thing. But then this comes down quite a ways. Uh, just past, I think just the other side, where our pasture is there, and then back out to the road. So this is a pretty good, decent bit of land back here. We could certainly do something with this at some point. If we want to expand, cut down a few of the trees on this side maybe. To build a shed at some point. Like we were talking to hold the tractor. Wouldn't be a bad place for it. You know, somewhere like right on the edge of the field here. Cut down one or two trees here. Build a little shed. That'd be nice. Well, let's get hooked back up to this forage wagon. Now I've been rambling off, wandering around. We'll hook back up to this forage wagon, get a load of hay, go sell that, and then uh, see see what that does for us. I'd like to get a wind rower. That'll make our lives much easier. But we'll see what we can afford. Hook up to this and get it all ready to go again. Go. All right. Let's have at her. Okay. Oh, that's hay. So, let's get this over to our pickup. 
And we'll go sell it. See what we get. Really hoping we can get a wind rower because I cannot express how much quicker and easier that'll make everything. Loop, we can park right there. We'll run over here. Get hooked up. Okay, I will meet you at the animal dealer. Alright, find ourselves back at the livestock dealer. See how much more they appreciate getting hay and grass. Two thousand three hundred and sixty two dollars. Yeah, I'm gonna say hey is the way. Hey is the way. Well, I'll go ahead and take this trailer back. And then uh we'll see what we can do about a wind rower. I know that one I was looking at was five thousand, but I think we can maybe maybe get a deal. Get a little bit better deal than that. Let's see. Let's see what we can find out. Let's see what we can do. Where are you? There you are. Five thousand, five thousand nine hundred. We only have three thousand four hundred and fifty-eight dollars. Ooh, but we can buy the one that matches with the tatter that we bought. And we'd have a match set. Yeah, let's do that. 1,300. So that leaves us 2,158. So no matter what, we've got our, our payment covered for this month on our mortgage. And there she sits. So let me ferry these back over to the house and I'll meet you over there hoping we can fit this through the gate oh yeah she just fits leave her right there I guess we'll go park over in the corner the pickups out of the way that's good Oh, that's wind row. I love this old tractor. Out of all the things that I've bought lately with that money I borrowed, this tractor's my favorite. I need to come up with a name. Let me know if you think of a good name for our tractor. Thinking some, maybe something like Bessie or, you know, something like that, but maybe not quite so traditional and uninspired. Maybe we need to spend a little more time with it. Really get a feel for the tractor. Oh yeah, see, the wind rowing's going to go nice and quick. I think that's going to make picking up our hay much, much quicker. And let me finish this up quick.
Okay. I'm thinking about the tractor's name. Right now, it's named John, and I don't think John fits it very well. I was thinking maybe we need to name it after a goddess. Because it's beautiful, it's powerful, maybe just a little bit scary. Take a corner a little too fast, and she'll buck you right off. I don't want to get trapped under my tractor. So, something you got to be able to respect. You know? I don't know. Let me know what you think. Oh, look at that. Almost like I planned it. Just enough for it. Alright, let's start picking up these windrows. See how well this goes. Should make our life a little easier. Get that up. Get this turned on. Let's go. Yeah, that was pretty quick. I'm gonna say that having that wind roller probably is gonna save us half a day. So I'll go ahead. Get this sold. Probably clean off the rest of the field and sell it. And then, uh, then I'll let you know what we made for the day. Well, we didn't quite get another full wagon. Um, there was one full wagon I brought over since I last talked to you, and then this is the final wagon. It's not quite a full wagon. Let's go ahead and unload it. See what we end up with for the day. I think we're doing excellent. Started with $500 for the day. We bought some equipment, and we still ended up at $8,520 for the day. I'm real happy with that. Real happy with that. That's encouraging. That's, that's a good first step towards having our logging empire. Which, it won't be an empire, but at least it'll be... My very own logging company. I can be happy about that. Yeah, I'm going to head back over. Get this stuff put away. I'll meet you over there. Even though the goal is to start a logging company, I would really prefer not to cut down very many of the trees that are around my house. Uh, maybe we can thin it out a little bit. I do want to make a new path because I don't want to just drive through our backyard all the time. But I'd like to make a new path out the other side of the property to the road so we have access to the field without going through our yard. Um, but we're not going to do that today because I think this is a good fool's day. Full day's worth of work. With the mowing, and the tedding, and the wind rowing, and the making money. Maybe if we get the equipment to make that path, we can also widen the yard out a little bit here. So that the rest of our equipment's not just sitting in the weeds. It'd be a good thing to do tomorrow, I think. Park the truck. Go ahead and go close the gate. All right. Thank you so much for joining me on this adventure, on this journey. 
we're gonna have to see where it goes and see if we can make money and sell trees sell grass and it's gonna be excellent i will see you next time have a great day